Hi, thanks for joining. My name is Rob, and today I'm going to be giving you a quick overview of how to build a fixed size click to interstitial design using Flexitive. Now, before I get started building, I want to give you a quick overview of exactly what a fixed size click to interstitial is. So on the screen, you'll see I have a 300 by 250 big box that's on this kind of mock site. From here, if I was to click on that uh, 300 by 250, you'll see that an interstitial pops up uh, to cover the screen. Now this interstitial is a completely responsive interstitial, so if I was to resize the browser to be say closer to the tablet size or to a mobile phone, it's going to be able to adjust and adapt to these changing screen sizes to still look good. When building a fixed size click to interstitial, you're going to be doing that with two different designs. One design is going to be used for the fixed collapsed portion, and a second design is going to be used for that responsive interstitial. So to start, I'm just going to build a fixed size design uh, that's just going to be a simple 300 by 250 to uh, use for this design. So just name it Adaptive Bean and tap Create. And then from here, I'm going to choose a blank canvas to start building in. Now, the build process for this uh, fixed size design is exactly the same as any other fixed size design that you would build in Flexitive. So I'm going to be very, very quick uh, to uh, just run through these uh, different steps. So upload my image assets, set my background to be white, and I'll just very, very quickly put together a simple design to work with today. So we'll add our coffee cup, our adaptive bean logo at the top, call to action. And we will also add a text object just to uh, have this in here as well. So celebrate coffee can be the copy. And I will change the formatting a little bit. So I'll use the font Montserrat. Make the text white and center it on the text box quickly resizes to be a little bit closer to what I want for this particular canvas. And for the sake of today's demo, uh, I'm going to keep it really, really simple. If I wanted to, I could add animations, I could create additional sizes, but today I'm just going to stick to doing a fixed size 300 by 250 with no animations. From here, I'm going to save and return back out to my all size, uh, back out to my uh, main hub in order to create a responsive design in order to use for the interstitial. So in order to build the responsive interstitial, all I need to do is start building a new responsive design. So we're going to start off by just giving it a name, Adaptive Bean. We'll call it Adaptive Bean Interstitial, just to give it a little bit of a difference between the fixed size. Tap Create, and then scroll down in this responsive, uh, in this template selection screen, sorry, in order to select a responsive blank canvas. Now, before I start building a um, responsive design, I want to give a quick overview of exactly what a responsive design is. So in Flexitive, when you build a responsive design, every single one of these aspect ratios kind of all get combined into a single design. And each of those aspect ratios is kind of a different reference point for that design to look at when it's displaying itself. So for example, if I was to jump into the full screen sizes, and I was to display this design on a 16 by 9 canvas, the 16 by 9 breakpoint is what's going to be shown. So to get started, we recommend building every single size that your uh, responsive design could possibly be viewed in. Uh, for a responsive interstitial, that is typically every single full screen size in both landscape and portrait. So I'm just going to jump into the one by one here and start building in exactly the same way as I do with a fixed size. So choose the sizes that I want, uh, choose the images that I want to add, change my background to be white. And then, just as before, drag and drop the images onto the canvas in order to build. So click Snap to All Edges, and then very, very quickly build my design. So again, I'm keeping it relatively simple today. I'm not going to add any animations. I'm not going to be building any hover states into this design. But you can do that if you'd like when building this. Um, I'm just keeping it simple for the sake of uh, demonstrating the click to interstitial to to, uh, today quickly add some text. We'll have this once again say celebrate coffee. And adjust the copy to be a little bit more consistent with the fixed size styling that I used before. So I'll make the text white with Montserrat and center it.
From here, I'm going to center everything with the canvas. So just hold down control and then click align to canvas center. So that's the first size that I'm going to build. I'm going to jump back out to my all sizes view from here. Oops, sorry, wrong spot. And in this all sizes view, I'm going to start activating the rest of my full screen landscape sizes. So as with anything else in Flexitive to activate a new size, just click on it. And then from here, make any adjustments to the layout that you feel is necessary. So I'm going to quickly change this layout so it's a little bit different from what it is right now. And make it a little bit more consistent with that 300 by 250 layout that I built before. Then same as usual, when you activate a new size, Flexitive is able to learn from what you've done before. Now if I jump over to the portrait sizes, I'm going to want to activate these as well. And I just can just once again quickly activate these by clicking on them. And like I said, this could be a more complex design if I'd like. I could, an I could add in animations, I could add in hover states and click through URLs, but for the sake of simplicity today, I'm just going to build this simple 300 by 250 as well as a simple responsive interstitial. So now that I've built both the collapsed fixed size as well as the expanded modal, uh, now I'm going to need to create a preview link to send this across to my client for approval. Um, so in order to do this, I'm actually going to save my design quickly and uh, close down the editor using this edit button. And for every single design I build, there's this unique design ID. And this is what I'm going to be using here in order to create this preview URL. So if I open up that uh, layout visualizer that I was using before in order to demonstrate the, uh, in order to demonstrate the actual design, um, I can actually put these design IDs into these two fields at the top here in order to create a preview URL. So if I just grab the design ID for the, um, for the collapse state, paste that in there, and then for the interstitial state, and tap Generate, Flexitive is going to create a preview page using, those, uh, using that different layout. From here, you can see if I click on this, it's going to create an uh, interstitial page for me to view that is able to respond to the different screen sizes. So tablet, mobile phone, and desktop. Now, once I'm happy with this, I can tap on share, and that's going to create the preview URL that I can then send across to my client for approvals. Now, as with any other uh, preview screen in Flexitive, this is going to be updated for you in real time. So say, for example, I sent this across to my client and they came back and said, hey, you made a small mistake. Um, this 300 by 250, we wanted the coffee cup on the left and the co uh, copy and the call to action on the right. So that's a pretty quick change. I'm just going to jump back into my 300 by 250 here and jump into that size in order to make that change super quickly. So I'll jump in here, move that to the right, move this over to the left, just align those with each other again quickly. Tap Save. And then from here, if I just click Generate, we'll be able to see that change happening in real time. And same thing for what your client sees in the URL that you send across, that change is going to happen in real time for them. So once I'm done building my design and I've received approval on that click to interstitial, I'm going to need to build a tag in order to serve this design through DFP. Now, in order to build this tag, I'm actually going to jump over to a tag generator that is built in a Google Doc that you will be given access to when uh, working with one of these ad products. So it's a really straightforward process in order to build this uh, tag. So I'm first going to give this a name. So we'll just call this training adaptive bean, give it a date. And if I'd like, I can fill in some notes as well. Next step is I'm just going to grab once again, the creative IDs for both the in page and responsive modal portions of this design. So the in page portion I'll grab here. And then I just need to put in the dimensions for the collapse state. So this is going to be a 300 by 250. Similarly, I'm going to jump back over to here and grab the creative ID for the interstitial and then paste that in here. And I can set the padding around the edges of that interstitial. So that's the amount of space between the interstitial and the, um, and the edge of the site. So I'll set the padding to be 10% of the screen in each direction. Uh, set an auto collapse time, so 30,000 milliseconds, also known as 30 seconds. And I will set the box shadow to be true. This will make it so that there's going to be a little bit of a box shadow behind the design. 
From here, the uh, tag that you're going to use in order to serve this design through DFP will be automatically created on the far right hand side of the generator. And you can just copy and paste this into a text editor uh, and then send this tag across to your, uh, to your media team or whoever is going to be serving your design so they can serve this through a uh, one by one pixel ad product in DFP. So thanks again for joining today. That covers pretty much everything I wanted to chat about regarding fixed size uh, click to interstitial designs. Um, if you do have any other questions about whether it's uh, click to interstitials or anything else in Flexitive, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can always reach out to either your account manager or to our support team at support at flexitive.com. Uh, you can also connect uh, using the contact support widget at the top of the screen in Flexitive. Uh, just send a quick email across to us and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. Uh, thanks again for uh, joining and I hope you have a great day.